Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the process of how I draw faces and portraits. Let's get started. Can you bear with me? This is the first time I'm doing a video in like... When I say real time, I mean as in like recording live. So everything you hear is happening right now. I don't usually do that because voiceovers is better for me. Uh, but hopefully you can hear me properly. But yeah, let's get started. So first I like to draw the construction of the face, meaning I analyse the face I'm drawing and the direction of where the face is, you know, facing. So whether it's three quarter, which is say this is, say the face is here and it's facing us, that's the, you know, head on. And then three quarters is when the face is going offset like this, like direct, like diagonally like this way. Or its side profile. Uh, today we're going to be doing face on so the I might put the person that I'm referencing here so I'll leave a gap that's good yeah I'll leave a gap here and put the person here because I screenshotted their face and everything um, so I can draw. So I like to start with a circle. Um, your circles don't have to be perfect, just try your best. I've literally been drawing portraits for ages. I'm not like a like extreme professional, but I'm I I have some knowledge of drawing faces because I was just practicing and practicing for ages. So when you practice it really does <laughs> it does help. Um with drawing circles. I draw the circle and then I like to do a line straight down. I kind of eyeball how um, far down I think the face goes and then I like to draw a rectangle. Now I don't know if anybody else has done this method but I just decided one day hmm instead of drawing an oval or a circle let me draw a rectangle and it fit my style of drawing perfectly because I draw sharp so it helps when I draw the jaw because I literally only have to make everything straight so I just decided to do a rectangle if that makes any sense wasn't it lovely right yeah so I just kind of make a educational guess of how far down I want the jaw to be um, and obviously looking at the face I can tell it's pretty wide so after drawing the basis of the jaw and the face I can alter it however I think it should go because also, when you do the rectangle down, I've actually just noticed this now, it kind of gauges where the neck is, which is good. Because um, you can always make the jaw fat or s slim, however the facial structure is. Um, yeah. After I draw the face though, <clears throat> I start with the eyes. So I'm going to be honest with you a lot. I'm actually looking at notes as well while I'm drawing. So there's a lot going on. Right, I do the eyes after I do... Um, the jaw or roughly do the jaw and where the, I stop where the hairline normally goes because uh, I don't like to like draw the face draw the head too far up I normally look at where the head dips after the ears so you know where your temples are which is on the person they're here I kind of gauge where that dip is and know that's where the eyebrows normally sit so I don't draw the eyebrow line, funnily enough. I actually draw the eye line because that's what I start with. <laughs> I kind of make a um, guesstimation of <laughs> how far down it is from the temple down. So always note that where the temple dips, that's where the eyebrows are. So because I know that I'm not going to draw the line, but before, before you guys, I'll draw the line so you know. Uh, so on the, the dip is right about here. So you draw the line, that's where the eyebrows are. He has quite nice eyebrows, so kind of does <laughs> does help. Right, and where the nose is, is where here, the bottom center of the uh, circle that we've drawn. Sometimes you could do higher or lower, the, you know, obviously, like I said, depending. But where the cheekbones, just below that dip, that's where his nose is. So I actually gauge it between here and this bit here and this bit here. I kind of just start drawing the eyes and then I fix the, any issue that I have later. I say that because I sometimes rub out the eyes 
more often than not. My style is, like I said, sharp. So when I look at the eyes, when I'm starting off to draw them, I like to obviously sharpen everything out. <clears throat> Especially if the person's eyes are almond. I think his eyes are almond, I think. I think. So I just analyze it as quick as I can and not to, you know, um, stay on it too long because I get bored easily. <laughs> Um, but I kind of, every time there's a curve, so I'll give you an example over here. Every time there's a curve, so say there's a circle, I just draw extra lines, if that makes sense. So I find where the key turning points are. I'll give you another example. So if say, so say the eye is like this, right? I quickly look at where the, um curves are so here's the start of that top curve and the end of that curve here and here so i draw a line like that and then the curve is in the middle again and then if it's the eye you would add this bit and then i would draw a line to connect that corner of the eye and draw a line at the bottom like that and then join it up like this so then you would have the eye or the eye lid here and then the eyelashes and then the actually i it's funny i draw the i was thinking of doing the eyes square but i think i tried it one time and this really just didn't look right so i i don't draw square eyes i draw circle eyes um um irises i think they're called yeah yeah so that's how i do the eyes and then i just follow the trail of um yeah follow the trail like that yeah i hope that helps <laughs> i don't know if it does okay so yeah i just draw the eyes like so i try and i'm quite heavy-handed when it comes to sketching i have no idea why um it's always been like that even when i was little so <laughs> i just i i've gotten a lot better now that i've i'm conscious about it because I'm <laughs> trying to improve the small habits that I've gained over the years. So, um, yeah, that's the first eye. Depending on how lot, like big the nose is, you got to remember that sometimes the nose is a triangle like that. But I, again, I, no pun intended, eyeball it um, and gauge between here where the eyes stop. Depend again, depending on how wide their face their face is. His features are pretty centered in his face so um uh yeah so we just do i normally doing one side's great it's the other side <laughs> i try not to be too hard on myself where it has to be symmetrical but i really do try to make the effort of it being symmetrical but uh, that doesn't always doesn't always happen which i'm like okay fairs See, like that, I can tell, like, this eye is drooping a little bit, but, you know, I don't actually mind. I'm not trying to be the most perfect artist in the whole world, because nobody is perfect. So, <laughs> just accept it and move on, innit? And I like to draw the bridge. I think this spits the bridge. Listen, I know how to draw faces, but I just know, I say the basics of faces, um, the anatomy of the face, but I'm not. Like, it, like I said, I'm not a pro, extreme pro. I think that's the bridge. Waffle Central. Right, I'm going to rub the construction lines out because sometimes it confuse me and then I draw extra lines for no reason. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll try. Yeah, that's better now. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. Basically, what happened is my my camera just cut it just stopped recording and it stopped recording while i was doing the eyes and then after that obviously i thought it was recording so i did the nose and i did the mouth i'm so sorry i literally just realized and it is way later in the day as well so <laughs> but anyway i will do my best as to carry on so um as when i do the nose i like to just cover the basic shape so let me move this over <clears throat> a little bit 
Actually, I don't even know if he'll keep it. So I'm using a different camera now, so I have to literally just... So, uh, as I do the nose, I cover the basic shape. So this is a triangle, but I've kind of followed where the lighting changes. So you've got the shadows here, and then you have the bridge, and then you have the tip, kind of tip of the nose, where the nose ends, that's where that line is. So that's why I put normally put the line. Again, depending on how big their nose is. Um, I don't, I didn't before add the nostril holes in because um, I literally just did the shape of the nose and that's it. But um, as I developed my style a little bit, I decided to add the nostrils in um, to make it more realistic and less cartoonish, if that makes sense. Um... Yeah, and then I add a little, I colour it in like solid. Now I'm trying, it's been a few hours since I've walked away from this drawing. So we're going to do the eyebrows. Normally when I finish the eyes, I just go on to something else. Uh, either yeah, I do the nose or the mouth and then the eyebrows. Sometimes I start with the eyebrows after I do the eyes, but this time I started with the nose and <laughs> lips. But at least you get to see how I do the eyebrows because I'm consistently watching my camera screen now. Okay, so, um, right, so I like to start the eyebrows where I put the kind of the V shaped uh, where the bridge is um, and kind of block the shape first just so I get an idea of how obviously the shape of the eyebrow is. Uh, by the way, everybody, you can use whatever pencil you're comfortable with. Me, I really like mechanical pencils, but I, I tend to, depending on whether I'm like shading in or whatever, or what kind of line definition I want, um, I swap between like normal HB pencil and mechanical, and sometimes thick mechanical. This is my main one for this specific sketchbook, but this is my second main, and this is a 7. 0 0.7 and this one's a 0 0.5 my friend gave me this one um he's an artist too but um yeah so i normally like to have that thin kind of sketch look um when i do the eyebrows i like to obviously go to the direction of the hairs on the eyebrows so for instance his eyebrows let me rub out the uh, the construction lines underneath because sometimes it confuses me a little bit uh, his eyebrows hair kind of goes inconsistently in terms of like where the end comes in if you know what I mean so it goes diagonal and then it goes in like this and then after I'm sure I like how the eyebrow looks I darken it and I leave, like to leave a little loose hairs at the at the tip just to make it look more realistic and then go heavier because I know I'm more confident with how the eyebrows look. It's kind of good when you have a style because it doesn't have to, you can exaggerate any part of the face you want which is another thing but I try to just uh, get to the point in terms of drawing as I'm like you know it doesn't have to be perfect but then again. <laughs> Let me rub this out because I'm just trying to... I do like to get the lengths of different um, features right as well, at least. <laughs> so it looks somewhat like the um, original drawing. But it doesn't, again, doesn't have to be perfect. This is just my preference. Um, if you guys have any questions, more questions or anything I haven't covered in this video and you wanted to know, you can always um, comment in down below. Uh, and then I'll get back to you as soon as I like can. I won't leave you hanging. Yeah, I think. And I want to get that gap in. And it's good when you draw like unique people or like unique like unique features. You can get those in as well, because in his eyebrow there's like a gap, and I want to get that gap in. But I try so hard to be consistently sharp, but sometimes my hand just goes curvy and sometimes I leave it because I'm like it's not that bad <laughs> my hand like slips or gets tired from doing that <laughs> um, but yeah so the next thing 
is to just look around and see what else you can, you know, gather. I've done the nose, I've done the bottom of the chin, I've done the little hair. Because he's got a clean shave, so I just want to do the shadows of that. Which is, I'm not going to lie, a little bit hard because I'm like, he literally hasn't got any like visible, visible hair on his um face. But I want to get that kind of shadow in, you know. So I just lightly brush across and get that in, yeah, and get that in. It's kind of weird because it's like, you're not giving him hair, but it's like, and then I can even do that if I wanted to. I haven't smudged in a long time. Yeah, even probably smudging probably works. Yeah, that works better. Right. Okay, the next thing is the hair now sometimes i find myself drawing the head a little bit too big or like i do the circle and then i kind of <laughs> underestimate <laughs> the actual face itself but uh you can either do that actually you can either do the start the top of the head or do the ears um i'm actually going to do the ears because the eyes are here already so what i've just noticed here now is oh no no, 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 it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. I, I, I was looking at the wrong bit. So you want to start the ears where... How do I put this? You want to start the ears where the end of the eye is. Normally. Again, depending on how high or low down it is. Um, right. As I was explaining, or trying to explain in the beginning, <laughs> when I do my sharp edges, so say I'm going to try my very hardest to do this softly, I don't know how it's going to end, but, uh, so, because his ears are like this, oh my days, you don't know how hard this is, um, ears are soft like this, right? Me, I like to add lines where there's curves, so here, this top curve here, I would do that line here connecting from the, um, this part. And I would just do a line on top and then I would just drag that down I wouldn't add that curve I just do a line and then do the same with the end that end and then just go down and then you see that little dip inside here I would actually do dip like that and then I'd bring it down like that and then again you see the way the curve is, I would add the line. If you see the example here, I drew a circle and then when the curve kind of bowed like that, I do lines instead. So that's why I'm adding that here. Yeah, so you can see how the curves are gone, but where the curves are, I added the straight lines. Um, and then you want to add obviously the rest of the detail of the ears, so you've got that top bit there. Yeah, a little wider. Um, I will get better with <laughs> these live drawings. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't like really talking <laughs> while I'm drawing. Considering I sound like I'm a chatterbox, but um, I'm, I'm trying to get better explaining myself in different situations. Um, so yeah, <laughs> please bear with me people. Now I'm looking, his earlobe is not that big or it is, and it's just the earring that's given an illusion that it's tiny. It's probably that. So, uh, again, I'm going to actually just do a little bit. I'm trying to hurry up so I don't take up too much memory. Uh, let me know if I'm going too fast or too slow. I'm a little nervous, but that's okay. We move on. <laughs> um... Right, we'll do the other ear now. Um, normally, obviously, the ears aren't always symmetrical, which I kind of like because I can't draw the same shape ear, even if I wanted to. <laughs> so I'm going to draw the other side real quick. To gauge the end of the ear, you want to kind of look where the top of the nose is. I'm looking where his... It's, it stops here, yeah, so... Round about here is where you want the nose to end. The, sorry, the ears to end. Um, but 
mainly the ears actually end underneath here because he's got his head down he's got he the the photographer probably told him to put his head down a little bit so if his head was like normally up they the ear would actually end right here but because his head is down tilted down a little bit it's his ears are up so that's why they end here um so you want to just do that you can follow along actually as well i don't know why i didn't I, again like i said please please bear with me <laughs> because uh, this is literally not my thing but if you do like it um please let me know again i'm not a perfect youtuber and i'm trying to break that cycle of people having polished things and then expecting everybody else to do it no <laughs> That's not how the world works. So I'm trying my best to be raw and actually help people because that's what this YouTube channel is all about, helping people improve and watching my own improvement as well, um, which I can tell you, oh my gosh, there's a massive improvement and I'm actually proud of myself in terms of actually sticking to it. And I encourage you guys to stick to it too. No matter how hard, boring or long it gets, I'm not going to lie and say, oh yeah, no, it's not long. It's long, but I still do encourage you to keep on trying. All right, so we've done the eyebrows and everything else. I'm going to fix this this because it's bugging me a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Now for the fun part, well, second fun part is doing the hair. Now I picked this, I picked this picture because of his hair. His hair's curly and I'll show you how I do curls. So let me bring this down a little bit. Sorry, there's something in the way. Something in the way here, but let's see if I can bring it down far enough. Okay, this doesn't look half bad. Um, yeah, so to gauge how big the forehead, forehead is, I eyeball it, I'm sorry. I know you're sick and tired of hearing me saying, I eyeball it, <laughs> but <laughs> I really do. Like honestly, practicing does make improvement okay i'll tell you what draw the sideburns or the side of the the um, hair first and then you'll, you'll be able to gauge where <laughs> the forehead is i would say actually do that but i don't know if that helps that only helps if you're drawing it to scale but that's just <laughs> i think you could try and do it <laughs> it's gonna work right um okay so i'm gonna stop where that curly bit is right there right okay so because his hair is not actually that far out I'm gonna just fix that this, is the, this side of his hair is quite thin oh when I draw hair I also like to use a bigger pencil when I'm coloring because I don't want to consistently shave down my <laughs> thingy majig my um pencil it's gonna get in the way of the date right let's just carry on right okay so it's not gonna get all of his hair in which I was kind of afraid of which is a bit annoying but we'll work with it I'll probably show you how to do oh okay I just realized something I could show you how I do different sections of the face does that help I think I'll do that that makes more sense I just wanted to to see how I do the whole face I might do this after the fact though. Right, there's so much videos I gotta show you. <laughs> right, so his like bulk of hair stops around there. He has a lot of hair. Um right, and he kinda has an M. I haven't seen an M um hairline in a very long time. So he has an M hairline, which is literally this. So how I do this is I can see there's a little bit of a curve, but I will do a line instead. And then I go down like like that. I'm sorry, like this. And then he has a little bit of a what's it called? He has a little bit of edges like that. And then I will drag it down like so, and then connect it to the bottom like that. When I do loose strands hair, I just literally do that and then add it. So that's probably a bit too tough. It's, it's all good. Right, yeah. That is an M hairline, people. 
Right. Okay. I do the block the hair as well in like a solid color because it just helps. And also it just looks better. Um, normally as well I try to press like hard down or with the pencil with the mechanical pencil on top like this so I can get the shiny bits of hair as you can see and then the definition of where the direction of the hair goes so his hair's going swooping to the uh, right hand side or my right hand side um, and then add in a little bit more of that definition as well um, yeah and then I go in with a different uh, a thicker pencil hold on like this but I won't use it because of like the design you, you can use any pencil I promise you but me personally this is only for the rubber right sharpen your pencil a little bit I used it in another drawing I did um, right so you want to kind of lightly but still press down still press down enough that you get the pen like the shading darker and because the direction of the hair is going to the left I mean to the right sorry I'm gonna color the direction to the right if that makes sense and now um, normally obviously depending on their skin color I will shade their whole literally their whole face like face like that it's simple simply um, and then oh, I haven't done the eyes yet hold on his forehead is really big no it's actually that big I'm not even capping <laughs> it's literally that big hold on wait. I still can't find my um, rubber after all that I don't like using this because it, it, it leaves obviously residue and then it messes up my page when I try to rub it away only problem but sometimes I, I like to leave the marks but this this one today I don't want to <laughs> so I won't <laughs> not all of them even if I blow it it's not gonna do anything <laughs> this is my digital art yes so after I've done all that I'm actually gonna color in the eyes his eyes are pretty like black obviously they're brown like dark brown but they black I like to leave a little white space just to kind of give them life <laughs> and obviously because of lighting reasons but I always put it in the top right or the top left but um, I'm comfortable with the top right because I'm right handed like so just leave a literally a little bit of a glint um, and then if you want to you can add in shadows just to give a little bit of definition I will use this mechanical pencil for it obviously um, but you can use this normal HB pencil if you want to um, but I will just use this so uh, with the shadows you can literally just do lines like this which is what I do uh, obviously depending on the direction of light uh, so that shadow is pretty big and you can literally just go in and use your finger and I don't normally smudge but I thought I would <laughs> this time yep um, add little lines of obviously features now the bridge of the nose I don't like to tamper with that too much because I think it takes away from my obviously stylization of the nose but you still can if you want to I'm adding a little bit um I sometimes do the neck shadow I do more of the neck shadow when I'm actually doing like digital um artwork which I can show you how I'll, my process of my digital artwork if you want to because that's actually the color process is really different to um, my sketching process, like that. So. Right, what I like to do, hold on, sorry, I need to fix that. What I like to do is I like to do a really hard outline on my pieces like this with my pencil just to, I don't know break up the inside from the outside if that makes sense so I literally just have just the outside though I don't go I literally don't touch the inside at all 
it's tempting but i don't <laughs> i only do that if so now this would be a tangent if i didn't do the shadows properly so that would would be but you can tell what's in front a little bit and with the shirt as well doesn't have to be extremely perfect i just can even do like i know what i'm doing is when you just do rough lines but i try and do like a solid solid line here I'm trying not to smudge the middle because it's so hard. I've got a little bit of pencil on here. And in terms of sketching, I'm a pretty quick sketcher, but because I'm talking, it's taking a little bit long, and I'm explaining my process as well. It takes long. I normally take 10 minutes to do a piece like this, or less. I think I time myself because I used to work with a company that let me do people's portraits um <laughs> i had to be extremely quick and it helped because i used to draw people on the train um as well and oh not they didn't pay me or anything i just drew them like secretly <laughs> but yeah i wasn't doing it to get noticed i was literally bored out of my brain <laughs> right so i'm gonna also color in the lips a little bit just to give it meaning <laughs> And then his whole skin, in general, I think I'm just gonna go extremely light, light as I can. Like not even holding on to, no, not even holding on to it. I really like this drawing. So now I am going to, right. I like to do these lines on the outside too. I think I started developing this when I was drawing people because sometimes I used to be extremely quick and it was like, I'm not kidding, like six minutes, something like this. And then I was like, oh, what can I do? What can I do to like, you know, fulfill the time? Um, and I was like, oh, let's just add lines on the outside, you know? And then I did. And then I was like, ooh, let's add shapes. So I normally look at the whole um, picture. I look at the whole picture when I'm finished. I'm like, what shape do they resemble? So I think he resembles either a square or a triangle so i literally just do random size squares um on the outside of the face like that i try to make it scattered a bit it's a little bit linear right now so i also leave space for my signature i try to rotate them as well like that <clears throat> oh i hope there's still people watching <laughs> at this point <laughs> in my video I believe there is someone still watching the whole thing. Um, and then I had a one there, gloomy one there. Not too many that's like completely distracting. And then what I like to do is add outer lines like that. And then kind of do more of a defined square or rectangle, whatever shape I'm I'm choose to do for the character. Um Try to do them differently as well, or just like that. Mm. Right. I feel like these are a bit bunched together. <laughs> I'm gonna lose that one, like completely. Or just do a weenie one, like this one. Yeah, I try. Don't obviously don't do too many. <laughs> um, I don't do too many. <clears throat> And I still have more footage in this, so this is a 40 minute video. I will definitely chop it up. I apologise in advance. Right, so. Right, I leave space for my signature and I look at the uh, drawing and see if any, there's anything else I need to add or I want to add. I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Yeah. So we're going to do my signature. to do it kind of small because it's a small face I write the day even though I write the day at the top when I start I like to date my guys I cannot stress this enough please for the life of me always write the date when you're doing your um anything actually any creation in terms of like stories 
um, character designs, ideas, anything. Write the date and sign it because that is a form of copyright. So if anybody tries to, go forbid, steal your ideas, you have the proof. I do all the time. Literally, it's a form of copyright. Copywriting your own things. I'm going to do this even more because I messed up a little bit. And I smudged it with my hand. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will do... I'll either do it before or after this video where I pick out different bits. I think I should do that. I'm going to do videos um, and pick out different bits of the features and draw them separately. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> um, please like, uh, subscribe. If you want to, it's really not by force. You can do whatever you like. Um, and comment down below what other videos you would like to see and um i will catch you in the next video hopefully <laughs> see you guys